From cars to clothes and electronics, advances in technology have allowed companies to manufacture products wherever in the world it's cheapest to do so. It's called globalization. For people in Europe and the USA, it's brought prices down. And for Bangladesh, it's meant massive industrial growth. But environmentally, it's often been a disaster. Coming up, we travel to Bangladesh's slums to discover just how polluting the textiles industry can be and why they pollute. We ask what different governments are doing to get the industry to clean up its act. And in the UK, we find out why going green is saving Axminster carpets a fortune. When I ask the industrialist, the garment industry owner or the you know, fabrics dyeing owner, so why do you don't set up ETP? They say there's a big competition in the international market. They always ask for cheap rate. So if we set up ETP, we won't able to provide them you know, cheap clothes. Then we'll lose our money. So we'll lose our business. They will go to the other country. That's why we don't set up ETP and we are polluting the environment. Keeping textile factories running requires vast amounts of energy and resources. In Bangladesh, the industry is dominated by cotton, and turning each ton of raw cotton into finished fabric uses about 65,000 kilowatt hours of power and takes 250 tons of water. It's no surprise that almost three quarters of the water is used for what are called wet processes, things like washing, bleaching and dyeing. Companies are attracted to Bangladesh because of its low tax rates. That's good for them, but it means the government has limited funds to control pollution. Most of Bangladesh's energy is produced by gas and coal-fired power stations, and that means almost all the electricity used in the factories adds to pollution and CO2 emissions. When it comes to water, Bangladesh might be one of the wettest countries in the world but a lack of funds means the supply network is run down. Factories often get priority over people for water, and as the textiles industry uses so much water, large numbers of people don't have access to supplies at home. As the textiles industry continues to grow, the situation looks set to get worse. But water and energy use aren't the main reason textile production can impact on the environment.